What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of <laughs> FTB Infinity Evolved. Oh, yeah, guys. So we're out here in the wilderness. We're just kind of walking around. I've done some exploring off camera. Uh, basically, what I've done is I've gone around to all of the desert biomes that are nearby. There's quite a few, actually, that are bordering uh, where our starting area is. I've gone around to these different desert biomes and just kind of walked the perimeter. I was looking for more villages. I was looking to see what other biomes are beyond. I was looking to find pretty much anything that we can see, but I didn't want to go too far until we get a jetpack. Um, yeah, it's about nighttime. Let's take a look at the map real quick. So you can see here, <laughs> there's our little start. So the first thing I did is I kind of finished walking around this biome, which we never really finished last time. And then I kind of came back over here and checked this one out. And then I saw this connected over here. And we went around and yeah, all this stuff. So there's a really big village down here. This is our destination right now. Um, I've kind of walked around and looked at it a bit. There's a lot of quicksand in here and there's a lot of villagers. So I quickly removed as much quicksand as possible and put it down sand. There is also an AE2 meteor that kind of crashed here into the wall, which is interesting. Um, yeah, let's go and sleep real quick before all the baddies come out. We still don't really have much armor at all. We're still using just golden pants. Uh, I did make some bread and I have cooked the bread into toast and we are currently eating toast. Get out of here, cotton seed. Uh, so yeah, we are making our way down here to this location. Where are we now? We are, there's our original village that we saw and yeah, we just need to kind of head south, south-ish from here. So yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over to the village and I will be right back when we get there. All right, well, just not too far away from where I ended that last clip, there is actually a desert temple here. So I think this is going to be worth investigating since all of the chests and things like that are going to have randomized modded stuff in there. Is there a proper way into this thing? It looks like it is all enclosed off. Sun's going down. Let's go ahead and sleep once again. My game just crashed, so I had to reload it. Uh, I hear a skeleton below. Can we poke into here? This is way down. Oh, you know what? This was supposed to be like the original entrance right here, isn't it? Let's just make the stairway back up here. Something like that. Okay, very good. Uh, we'll put a torch down. So where's the skeleton? Oh, the skele is the skeleton in here? Yes, it is. Die, die. Okay, cool. It's got the skeleton. Now I think on these you can dig down. Is it this block? Yeah, right here should be fine. Just dig right down here. We will get rid of the pressure plate and we will mine up some TNT here. Let's go ahead and put a torch. Cool. So we get a little bit of TNT and what's in the chest? Uh, unknown dimlet, safari net, single use, somnium hoe, black lotus, and a floppy disk with protector on it. All right. Uh, let's take the chest. Actually, I guess we can just do that. Break the chest. Hey, we got a diamond, another unknown dimlet, another safari net, steel boots. You know what? We're going to take those steel boots. Actually, no. You know what? I think we can melt those down. Small step into a big world and diamonds. I think we can melt those boots down and get the steel out of them. So we might not want to do that. Uh, bronze sword. That's plus six attack. And this is plus five. So that is slightly better. But we might be able to melt that down as well and get some bronze. Dark sun and a miniature red heart. Cool. So we got some stuff in here. Let's go ahead and pillar our way back out. Yep. Decent find in there. Got some TNT. We got some good stuff. I like it. And is this the way out? Yes, this is our way out of here. Okay, cool. So we will continue on over to that village. All right, guys. So there it is in the distance. It is a pretty big village here. Uh, I really haven't done too much exploration in there, but like I said, what I did do is I went around and I replaced a lot of the quicksand blocks with sand just so all the villagers aren't getting trapped in it and suffocating to death. Yeah, there is a lot of quicksand around here. I'm trying to figure out the best way in. I know there are specific entrances into this place and I found one before. I just don't remember where it is. Uh, I guess we're just going to go ahead and circle around until we find an entrance. Probably one over here. Uh, if nothing else, we can get in where the meteor fell. Uh, yeah, we'll go and do this. 
Okay, so yeah, we had one of the Applied Energistics 2 meteors here. And since it landed in a desert, it made some glass, which is kind of cool. Turned sand to glass. I like it. Yeah, this is pretty big. Um, I don't think we're going to be messing with that just yet. From my, what I understand, EE Applied Energistics is like very, very, very end game in this mod pack. Uh, the meteor did destroy a house here. Got some glass inside of there. Uh, this is something I'm interested in right here is a smeltery. We got a bunch of pieces already crafted up for us. The only thing I think we're missing from this, if I remember, yeah, the controller and the seared tank. So we're going to go ahead and harvest all of this stuff. This will make our life a lot easier trying to get a smeltery set up. We're going to want this for doubling ores. A lot of the gears and things like that in this mod pack that you have to craft can only be crafted through a smeltery so we're gonna have to do this which means we're gonna need a lot of the aluminum brass or whatever for making casts yep okay let me go ahead and finish this up and we'll be back guys all right guys so i made it back to the starting area here and i'm now looking for lava and i noticed over here by this lake before when i was over in our little desert area i heard lava boiling so i just kind of dug down dug down and then i saw that there was lava down here Yep, yeah, and so I'm gonna collect some of this stuff. I made two seared tanks, or seared windows, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and dig a hole here and we will put our water. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and steal some of the lava from this lava lake. I think each one of these holds four buckets worth. Yeah, that looks full now. Uh, yeah, four buckets. Okay, so we need this for our smeltery. There we go. We'll just go ahead and collect this back. These do retain the liquids, which is awesome. I do see on the map though, uh, about this direction northeast, there is another lava lake or something that might be a ravine. I don't know. Uh, but when we go up to the surface, you can't see it. I do see there are some marks on the map though. Let's just take a look at this real quick. What is this? Ah, can't really see what's down there. Yeah, but I'm sure there is another lava lake. Okay, so now that we have this done, we can go ahead and bring that back and get our smeltery all hooked up. All right, guys. So I remembered that this mod pack does have chisel. So I went ahead and I made a chisel. It's just an iron and a stick, piece of iron, metal ingot, and a stick. Yep. And I went ahead and I made just a nice little floor here. This is the cobblestone panel with dent, I think. I use this a lot in Feed the Beast Monster. I really like this because it has this little texture around the edges and then everything else is like a connected texture. But anyway, uh, so we have a nicer looking cave area, I guess. And then I did raise up the ceiling a little bit. I didn't do the floor everywhere, so it does go back into a cave or whatever. It's untouched back there. But yeah, putting in the smeltery over here just kind of felt like we should do that. I still need to raise the ceiling up a bit over here, but this, this is what we got so far. It's just a three by three base. And then it's got, you know, the three by three around the sides. I know you can make these things smaller. They don't have to be a three by three anymore, but this is the way I went with this smeltery. Okay, so we have the smeltery controller there. Now we just need to put in one of these seared windows. And I think that's all we need to do. Maybe not. Yeah, there's something else we need to do. Does the seared window have to be on the ground level? We'll try putting it down here, see if that makes any difference. Well, it seems to make a difference. I don't know if that was the difference. <laughs> and we'll put that back. Okay, yeah, now it's used everything. So maybe the lava has to be on the bottom layer. I didn't know that before. Uh, normally I put the drains on like the sides. I might rearrange this, but anyway, this is just the way I have this laid out for now. So now we can put material in our smeltery and get things melted down, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I've already smelted up a lot of our iron and things like that, but for instance, tin or copper or whatever, we can go ahead and melt that down and double our ores, which is gonna be great. Uh, so we need to do aluminum brass to make molds. I can't remember. Hold on, aluminum. Yeah, aluminum brass, this stuff right here. So this is copper and aluminum. And that makes the brass. And this is the stuff that you use to cast different molds. Okay. Uh, so we need two of that. One of this, I think, is <laughs> the correct amount. So we'll stick those in there. We'll melt that down. We'll make some aluminum brass. I'll start casting out some molds. Uh, first things first, we want to make an ingot mold. And then we're also going to want to make a gear mold. 
and i think we can make a let's see gear i think we can make a stone gear is the one we want so it's just cobblestone around a wood gear wood gear is just some sticks so we can go ahead and do that so two sticks we got plenty of cobblestone on us uh so we will do this action that action one of those some of this a bit rough around the edges is what that says there you go stone gear hard as a rock awesome we're making progress so yeah we can go ahead and stick this i guess right there should be fine and once this melts down we'll be able to make a mold i'll do the same thing with the ingot i'll make a few molds here get some stuff done and we'll be right back guys cool so we have the smeltery set up and i've made all the different cast that we need all the different molds we got our gear cast our ingot cast and i made some casts out of these different patterns that we have so yeah we can start making metal tools and things like that but i think i'm gonna wait for just a little bit longer before i start working on this stuff uh but yeah we got that all set so we are able to uh you know cast out some iron tools or bronze tools or copper or whatever we want to do later on uh, all right, so the next step that I want to do is I was going to look at making a tool forge. That is so we can do like the hammer and we can do like a three by three area when we're mining. So that's kind of what I want to work towards. So let's take a look at this real quick. So if we do tool forge, uh, yeah, we need this right here. So this is three seared bricks, a tool station, and then four dense refined iron plates. Okay. How do you make a dense refined iron plate? We need nine iron plates and a compressor. Okay. <laughs> uh, we know how to make the iron plates, right? Oh no. So this is a refined iron plate. So that has to go into a metal former. So we need steel in a metal former and that makes a refined iron plate. So we need nine of those. So we need nine steel. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then we're also going to need a compressor. So let's start looking at how we do this compressor. Compressor. This one right here. All right, so this looks pretty easy. Stone, uh, basic machine casing, and electronic circuit. This is insulated copper cable, which is copper cable and rubber. Yeah, we've seen that before. That's pretty common. Iron plate, pretty easy. So yeah, making these electronic circuits, not too bad. The machine casing, iron plates, and an iron chipset. <laughs> okay, so the iron chipset is made on the assembly table. Mm-hmm, so how to make... An assembly table. We're working our way backwards through the progression line here. Uh, so an assembly table is made with obsidian, a diamond, redstone, and a diamond gear. The diamond gear is made by putting four diamonds around a gold gear. And the gold gear is made by putting molten gold into a gear cast. And I believe that's four ingots. All right. So this is where we're going to start. <laughs> uh, we so happen to have four ingots here. I believe we found that somewhere. I don't know. Uh, in the chest, I believe we have just enough. So we'll go ahead and get those melting. We will, let's see, grab this guy, stick that over here. And when that's done, we'll go ahead and make our gold. Uh, and then we're also going to need diamonds. We only have one diamond and this required four. So we need to get to the point where we can harvest diamonds. Right. Uh, so what can harvest diamonds? Iron tools. Maybe we should actually make ourselves an iron pickaxe or actually, no, we can put a diamond modifier on the stone pickaxe, right? Uh, let's try this. I haven't done this for a little bit, Put that there. Oh, I didn't grab the diamond, but a diamond modifier. I don't know if I'm going to do this just yet. I just want to see if we can. Yes. So we can put a diamond modifier on there that allow us to mine obsidian at the mining speed of four. This should also allow us to mine diamonds, which is cool. All right, so we got a little bit of stuff to do here. I think what I'm going to do before I do this, I don't believe we can upgrade the parts since we don't have iguana tweaks. Uh, I'm going to look at making a better stone pickaxe. So I don't know how the mod has been changed for this mod pack, but what I think I'm going to do, uh, Tinker's Weapon Materials in You, Volume 2. Is this the one? Learning to Tinker. Uh, this shows me modifiers. Does this show me the different materials kinda alamite nether rack i don't think we can make this i think we have to have obsidian in order to make that so we might have to first thing uh upgrade a tool and put the diamond on there okay can we make tools out of paper 
I don't think that's been disabled in this pack, which is cool. Cobalt, Ardite. Those are things we're going to want. We're going to want to go into the nether. A steel. I can't remember, but I think steel was one that... Oh, yeah. You have to make steel to get cobalt, I believe. Uh-huh. So maybe steel would be what we want to go to first of all. And then we should be able to mine everything from that. Okay. Well, I tell you guys what. I'm going to take a minute here. I'm going to figure out what I want to do as far as our tool progression. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, so the next step I think we're going to take is we're actually going to build a blast furnace to make steel to make our tinkers tools. Uh, so we're going with this recipe here for the blast furnace brick. It's a multi-block three by four by three hollow in the center. So we need a few recipes worth of this. And thankfully, we did get TNT from that desert temple or whatever. So, yeah, we were able to craft nine recipes worth of this. So I got 36 of these multi-block, these bricks. So we should be able to just go ahead, do that, and one of these, another one of those. Uh, yeah, now we need to go up one more, like this, solid roof. Now I can't remember if this is the one that requires lava in the center or not. Doesn't look like it, so that is now a blast furnace. I seem to recall that you had to put lava in the center of this previously. Maybe they got rid of that, I don't know, or maybe like, when you build it, lava appears in the center. <laughs> or maybe you just put that in there to make it faster. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so we can use the coal coke that we have crafted previously. This stuff right here. And grab some iron. Let's just grab 16. 16 sounds like a good number. We'll put that in the blast furnace. Like so. Like so. And that should turn it into steel. Now, I'm not sure if it's faster to make that into iron blocks and then do blocks of steel at a time. But yeah, as you can see here, this is gonna take a minute for this to actually process. So let's wait for this to happen and we'll be right back. So more time has passed and more stuff has been done here. I made up a bunch of steel. So if we come over here and take a look, we have 15 steel ingots. All right, I did melt down one and I made a steel pickaxe. So this is a steel pickaxe head. It is a paper binding and just a iron tool rod and then i made another pickaxe somewhere where is it over here did i leave it over here yeah so i made another stone pickaxe now the reason why i'm making it out of stone is so we can just repair it with cobblestone it'll make it super easy to repair on the go uh so i have a paper binding and a paper handle so this thing has a whopping 39 durability but we're going to add a diamond to this so that's going to make it 539 durability we have four modifiers remaining for putting I don't know, uh, lapis on here and putting redstone and all of this stuff. But yeah, we got plenty of durability now. We have four more modifiers ready to go. We can mine obsidian with this. Pretty happy. We can upgrade our other stone pickaxe to this one. <laughs> so yeah. So the next step, it looks like we are going to have to go real hardcore mining. <laughs> I was thinking that we were going to start on the thermionic fabricator today. We still might, but we need eight gold plates for a gold chest that goes in that recipe. And gold chest, this thing right here. So we need eight gold plates and that is two ingots per. So we need at least 16 gold uh, for that. <laughs> and yeah, and then we need like a silver or an iron chest. And the iron chest is iron plates, which is two each. So we need 16 iron for that. Yep, we got some mining we need to do. And then on top of that, we also need four more gold ingots for the thermionic fabricator recipe. So yeah, okay. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take, we get one more break. I'm going to go down into the mines. I'm going to try and dig all the way down to diamond level, start branch mining, see what I can come up with. And we'll be back. Whoo guys. All right. So I have been mining for quite some time. I'm melting up some bronze right now that I formed up earlier and I turned into ingots. But yeah, let's head down here real quick and I'll show you guys what I've been mining. Uh, you can see that my tool has now been upgraded a little bit. My, my pickaxe here. I did put some redstone and some lapis on there. We have uh, two modifiers worth of redstone, so 100 pieces and then 159 pieces of lapis. So we're at fortune one, which is awesome. That'll help out getting more lapis and things like that in the future. I keep thinking that's skeleton legs, but it's one of those stone torches that I placed there. But yeah, I went down here and you can kind of see on the mini map. Let's not walk the whole way. You can see on the mini map that I've gone down quite some distance here. I don't know how far that is, but... It's pretty far. Uh, so yeah, I went down and I just did the poke hole mine like I do. 
uh, collected the resources that I could see, filled it all back in. So it is only one block tall by like five or whatever. No monsters can spawn in there and I don't have to refill every single block. And yeah. So anyway, after all that binding was done, uh, I think it's time that we start working on this thermionic fabricator. This is also the resources that I've collected from there. So we got over a stack of tin, about half a stack of copper, a little more than that. A little over a stack of iron, uh, some lead, some silver. This is the, the rest of the gold that we have left after I've smelted down all of the raw ores. Yep, we got some stuff here, guys. We got some stuff. Oh, and diamonds. Yeah, uh, 64 plus 11. So we had a decent amount of diamonds too. There's a lot of the um, the dense diamond ores down there. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I'm going to make up some bronze gears. That's what I was melting this stuff up for. Yeah, we need four bronze gears for this thermionic fabricator. And then four bronze ingots. Let's see, I need to grab the ingots over here. Yep. <laughs> You know, I made up all this bronze thinking that we're going to have enough. And now it's like we only have four ingots remaining after we make this thermionic fabricator. Not so much anymore. So, yeah, one more gear. One more gear. Okay, so we can start working on this. So to make a iron chest, we have to put a chest here and then surround that with these iron plates. Yep, so there's an iron chest. And to make a gold chest, we have to do the same thing with the gold plates. So we got that. So the recipe is four gold ingots, three glass, one sturdy casing, and one. Okay, so the sturdy casing is just using the bronze ingots and the bronze gears. Should probably just look up the recipe. I have a notepad open on the side over here that lets me know <laughs> uh, what pieces I need. Oh, you know what? We're doing this next. Okay. So that, 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 uh, that, 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 that. And then we need this last gear. Like so, there we go. Sturdy casing plus this plus that. What else do we need? Not that. <laughs> uh, we need four gold and three glass. So four gold. I don't think I have any glass right now. We have two glass. Okay, so that won't be too bad. Let me go ahead and grab eight sand. We'll grab one coal. We'll get that smelting up. So we only need to wait for one piece of glass to start smelting. So it was that and that, and then I think it was gold in all four corners. So we just need that one piece of glass and we will have our first real machine. Okay. And there we go. Thermionic fabricator. Woohoo! We did it. We did it. Uh, so this requires power and I don't know where we're going to set this. Maybe we'll just set it here for now. So yeah, we need glass in here to turn into liquid glass. We need to power this thing. Um, we got that at the rolling machine, this hobbyist steam engine previously. So I guess we can set this up like this. I need to fill it full of water. So maybe an infinite water spring will be our next thing that we should make. Oh, I left a spot unfilled back there. Cobblestone. Okay. So yeah, we need to go up to the surface once again, grab some water. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, this pack definitely is for experts. Um, I would not want somebody who's playing Minecraft, modded Minecraft for the very first time to dive into this. This would be a little bit crazy for them. Okay, so we can just go ahead and fill this up like so, like so. I don't know how many. Okay, it just holds four. Uh, yeah, eventually we'll have a way that we can pipe stuff in here like, I don't know, an aqueous accumulator or whatever. Uh, so let's see. We need to put coal in here this will heat up this will start producing steam we need glass before we do any of that so here's some glass just a little bit cool uh this is <laughs> we're doing this so we can make the what is it i'm looking at my notes here for the lasers so the lasers for our <laughs> assembly table require these diamond the diamond electron tubes so that's five diamonds and two redstone gives us four of those that'll allow us to make two lasers. We're probably going to want more than that, which is fine. Uh, we probably don't need this much glass in there. We'll probably do three pieces of glass worth. Okay. Uh, so we need some coal. Five pieces should be enough. 
We're gonna start powering this thing up. Does this need a redstone signal? It might. It might. It probably does. So we got a stick. Where is... Cobblestone is on me. Okay, so we'll do then that lever. There you go. Now it's on. Now it's doing stuff. Oh, we gotta wait for this thing to heat up. That's right. Okay. So we might need to put in more coal. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, this probably has to get up to 100 C before it starts making steam and then I'll start producing power. So it takes just a minute for it to warm up. No big deal. There we go. Oh, we're still not making steam. I guess it has to get warmer than that. All right, so we need a little bit of steam. Now we're making one RF a tick. Making sounds. How much are we making? Only two RF a tick right now. Oh my goodness. Hopefully this thing will make enough that it can power this machine. This has to heat up. It does not appear to have any kind of an interface that tells us this machine requires RF power to do work, right? I don't know if this is gonna produce enough power for the thermionic fabricator to work. It might not. We might have to go to something that's a little bit more powerful. But I'll give this a shot. I'll see how this works. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and check this out for a minute. All right, guys, so the biggest problem with that hobby steam engine, the sound. <laughs> <laughs> we need like a sound muffler for this thing. It is really noisy. Uh, so I'm not sure what was the problem. Like I had this thing connected and it looked like it was putting power in, but this thing said it was no power. It still says no power actually. Uh, and it wasn't until I removed it and let this thing fill up full of RF and then put it back that it actually was connecting and providing power. And I could see the heat going up here. But anyway, I went ahead and I made eight of these uh, diamond electron tubes. In fact, you know what? Stop, stop making sounds. Uh, if we remove this, is that still, yeah, that's still losing power. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that I'd like to do. Like I'd like to make some energy cells. So if we were to make like a leadstone one, uh, <laughs> well, we could do it with 10 electron tubes, I suppose. Um, but we don't have those. I guess I could have made some right then and there. Uh, so what about the hardened ones requires bronze electron tubes and yeah, there's like a lot of stuff. We'll worry about this another time, but yeah, definitely I'll be making energy cells in the future. Uh, so let's see. So we have these diamond electron tubes. So we needed to look for laser. Okay, so the laser is redstone, the diamond, and some obsidian. <laughs> uh, so we should have some obsidian somewhere. I did farm some up earlier, or I mined it up. Here we go, obsidian. So obsidian, we need redstone like this, and then the diamond tubes like that. Okay, so there's some lasers. We're probably gonna need a little bit more redstone though. Like so, okay. So that should be enough. We'll make a bunch of lasers. I I don't know if we need this many, actually. So I'm gonna hold off on using the second set of the diamond electron tubes. So we'll make that many for now. Actually, you know what? No, never mind, never mind. We'll go ahead and do this. If we need more of that stuff later, I can go ahead and just make some more. Okay, so there we go. We have four lasers, so now we need the assembly table. And this thing requires a diamond gear, which is that gold gear plus some diamonds around it. We did make a gold gear earlier. I do believe it's around here somewhere. There we go. We need four diamonds for that. Just like so. Okay, so there's the diamond gear. Uh, redstone and another diamond. Okay. Diamond gear, diamond. Actually, we'll just do that. Okay, so now we have an assembly table and we have four lasers, awesome. So now the next step is to actually get this stuff powered, produce some power, uh, and then make some chips. <laughs> okay, well, I tell you guys what, I think we're gonna go and wrap the episode up here for today. I've spent a lot of time here getting stuff mined up. I'm really looking forward to getting a hammer, a stone hammer or whatever, just so we can go mining, get resources that much faster. Um, I was also thinking we could build a turtle and have it do it for us, but no, the recipe has been changed. It is pretty in depth to get to a turtle 
in this mod pack, which would make my life easier. We might even go to the Twilight Forest and look for a hollow hill. I don't know, guys. But yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.